What's up, people? This is The Violent Casket, home to the lamest taste, where you can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch, all one word, at The Violent Casket. Subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. We are getting into the lamest of the lame. We are doing trailer reactions. Check out the uh, the playlist for much, much more. We do tons of these every week, as well as TV movie reviews, comic reviews, anime, manga, movies, music, mecha, everything you think of. We do it. Um, okay, we're getting right into it. This is something I never thought I'd see, right, in 2023. We are getting a movie, and it's under two hours. This is wild to me. We are getting a PG movie, Spy Kids Armageddon, Netflix original, premiering September 22nd, 2023. I don't think we're getting any returning cast from the previous uh, Spy Kids. Um, I don't know if this ties in directly with the Spy Kids franchise because I, I, IMBD has not specified that. It doesn't say follows or takes place before or any of that. So we're going to head over here. We're going to pull up some information, some trailers, some visual, visual aid. Okay, let's get into this. This is Spy Kids Armageddon, September 22nd, 2023. A runtime of an hour and 40 minutes hit play. Okay, that's like, a, oh, it's a switch light. It's a switch light. Look at this guy. It's nice. Ooh. Oh, that's the girl from uh, Jane the Virgin. She's an awesome actress. Okay, okay. Netflix. It's all over the world. It's like somebody combined a virus with. Ooh, the Armageddon car. What is that? What? Wait a second. They think mom and dad are spy. You think? Okay, interesting. The, the kids are way too close in age. If you're here now by yourselves, that means something has gone wrong. We couldn't wait to show you. OSS. There's food and spy training modules. How to be a spy. I'm going to be the best. So they have like their own little training simulator. Okay. This is definitely a little too kitty for me. As much as it's nostalgic, this doesn't seem as OSS building. Oh, I guess there was one in the original. Let's do it. I f this is September. It is September. Ooh. I feel like after the first one, the the other two had like an element of seriousness and more adult humor, or at least older humor laced into it. Especially the last one, which had to deal with video games, which this one has to do with video games. Spike is 3D had to do with video games. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Armageddon. Okay. Spike is Armageddon. It's using the same logo and everything. Skydance. Which is cool. I didn't know Skydance was, was uh, behind this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, definitely interesting. Definitely different. Um, if I was to bring back Spy Kids in 2023, that's not how I would have done it. Um, I definitely would have brought the original brother and sister into the loop somehow. Um, maybe it'd be their kids. Um, quick swipe. Because I don't think I support this series if there's no machete. Nope. I I think Netflix dropped the ball on this. This is a, an awesome. All right, so this is an awesome franchise to acquire, right? Netflix is cool for acquiring this franchise, but what they're doing here is just like the base level, like idea of what 
this could have been. Uh, there could should have been a lot more. Like I know we're just looking at a trailer, but I can already tell that this is not going to live up to uh, Spy Kids Two and Spy Kids Three. It's not. It, it isn't. Um, Spy Kids One was definitely campy and corny with the thumb guys and the whole wacky TV scenario that was hundred percent geared towards kids of a young age. But it grew up with the kids that it was originally geared towards. Because once you introduce the OSS and there being other spy kids besides the one, like these kids should know that their parents are spies because there is a whole established training scenario for kids of spy families. So they should just already know. Uh, there's spaces and teams all over the world established in the other series, uh, Spy Kids 2. And. Uh, you know that island with the dinosaurs and all that stuff was way ahead in, in maturity than the first one and then the third one having to do with all of those um uh with the video games and having like the whole dot hacked uh sword art online vibes of being stuck in a video game was super cool um as i quickly go through So there was a Spy Kids 4 all the time in the world. I did not see that one. Which is interesting. Maybe I should see that before I do this. All the time in the world. Jessica Alba. And, but this one has Machete and has uh, uh, Junie Cortez. So, and Car is this Carmen Cortez? Yeah. So it had Junie and Carmen and it had Uncle Machete, Danny Trejo. So, as much as this probably flopped, Spy Kids 4, um, I definitely support this idea more than the what we're being given. Um, just because it uses that, you know, this went super kitty. Well, it seems like this plot line could have been done in a very mature way. Or not even mature, but in like a more balanced way. And the fact that you don't have Danny Trey as Uncle Machete or Machete or, you know, or even a reference in this trailer to Junior Carmen, them being in charge of the OSS maybe. Um... Yeah, because they're called something Tang Tango Torres. So we'll see. Um, right? It was Cortez. Yeah, not Torres. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's discuss this. How do you guys feel about this? How about Spy Kids Five? I thought it was four. This is the fifth Spy Kids movie that I know of. Um, Get in the comments. How do you guys feel about this? Is it good? Is it a good idea? Should they have done this? Should Netflix have done this in a different way? Um, talk about it. Remember, uh, all one word, The Violent Casket. Uh, you can follow on Instagram, Twitch, and on YouTube. You can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. Remember, this is the home to the lamest taste. And you can do me a massive favor and stay lame.